Yes, so, so far, I mean, we see pretty strong demand. I mean, that move to a digital economy is driving a lot of transformation in most of our clients, you know, across the value chain. So the structural demand is very strong around digital transformation, be it driven by cloud AI, but of course our concept around intelligent industry, the creation of new product and services, and the digital platform. So structural demand remains very strong. However, there is a weakening economy. So we don't see today a slowdown in terms of demand, but we do expect clients to start prioritizing some of their investment going into next year. I mean, a lot of discussion I had with CEOs are more around the fact that they continue to focus around digital transformation investment in technology. However, they will start prioritizing probably in 2023, projects would have a quicker return on investment compared to more structural changes, which would continue probably uh, in later years. We are certainly watching a lot of central bank activity at this point, uh, just how much more tightening is expected to come through. And it's clearly ECB day today, but other central banks in focus too. As you talk about this prioritization that's expected to happen from various clients, do you think it's going to hit by geography or by sector? Uh, a bit of both probably. Uh, but I think overall at the macro level, is, everybody is going to be impacted to a certain extent. Of course, we do expect some sectors like energy and utilities to hold much better than others, you know, based on the environment and based on the increase in terms of you know, energy costs. On the other side, we do expect some which are more consumer driven, you know, like in, uh, probably in retail and some of the CPG companies will, will be a bit more under, under pressure. But it's important that what we see in the discussion we're having with clients about a potential slowing down of some of the project versus stopping of projects. That's why we, we remain quite confident that 2023 is going to be a year of growth for us, but sl at a slower pace than 2022. What are you seeing in terms of wage pressure? You operate in an industry where arguably you're looking for employees with the most desirable skill set at the moment, IT specialists. So are you having to pay up to retain and acquire talent? Uh, we continue, there's of course, uh, you know, salary inflation, but it also gets translated in the value of what we provide to our clients. Also, if you focus really on value creation, you see as well price increases in the market because the demand is very strong. However, we can, we'll, we'll, start to see, we'll start to see some slowdown in terms of the, 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 the market, in terms of attrition, in terms of tension on the market of talent. We already start to see some improvement there, as you know, a number of tech firms have slowed down their pace of recruitment and that's taking some of the tension in the market. So we do expect salary inflation to start to moderate as, it, as it's related to, to a balance between supply and demand. So we should see an improvement into the, into that, uh, into the supply area in terms of talent going to 2023.